the end. Oh my goodness, I have been grinding here for about, I don't know, probably only like 15 minutes, but it feels like a lot more than that, because now we're in the end. That's right, my next quest in Stone Block 2, episode 12, welcome everybody, is to get to the end, and now we're there. Hooray! And now if you want to leave the end, I believe all you have to do is probably something like this. Okay, whoa, it glitched up for a second. It glitched there for a second, and I was like, uh oh, uh oh, what was that? What was that weirdness now? Let's see if I can now possibly find my ladder. Uh, looks like it might be this way. There, oh, there, I'll come back, ladder. Oh, oh man, because of course, of course it had to be over there. Anyway, so today we're gonna knock out a couple more quests. We're gonna do some fun stuff, I hope. And uh, I, I, I definitely want to get more into storage. I, I, I'm kind of all about storage right now just to sort of make my life a little bit easier i think that's going to be very helpful and let's check off the quest get to the end we did it what are we going to get a block of insanium essence wow that seems like a really good one it's purple and everything i don't know what that is though okay now this says get a chicken stick by killing a chicken using a stick uh required to fight the chicken bosses man i know the chickens are very popular modded these days I have no idea what they are, so I guess I need to get a chicken. So how am I gonna get a chicken? Well, probably need to get an egg. Let's see, let's take a look at here. How do you get the old regular vanilla egg? Looks like chicken essence, okay. Hmm. That's not that helpful. Uh, that's it, pretty much. Either that or loot crate. Or I wonder if we could get maybe like a gra like some natural spawns just with grass. So how do you make some grass? Dirt essence, okay, again, still don't really know how to do that. Anything really obvious? Not so much, huh? World Gen, yeah, thanks, thanks World Gen. Yeah, I, I, I'm aware of you. <laughs> I'm aware of you, World Gen, but that is not helping me out. All right, so I know Batania has a way to get it, I, I think. I, well, I don't see it though, but there's this. I could get grass and a hydrator. Grass and a hydrator and dirt I can get. So how do you get, I wonder if I can get grass anyway. Now, Batania can get you grass, okay. Do I want to even get into Batania this early? Feels a little, feels a little early to get into this. Hmm, let me take a look at these quests for a second. I've decided that what I want to do today is, now that I've been to the end and these quests, they don't, they, you know, this is very clearly not like a uh, tutorial pack, which uh, should I have played? Maybe, but it's it's really an open-ended pack just with some quests, really, I see. And you know, I could get more in storage and I could, I could make barrels and stuff. Honestly though, right now, I just don't really need them. Like eventually we'll have a storage room with some storage uh, barrels for like the stuff I have a billion of and things like that and that's when we'll get into this stuff but it's just really not necessary for now I definitely want to get into automated crafting but again it's not absolutely pressing right now my my power situation is okay again for right now it's all right we have I think what uh 40 48 we have 160 RF per tick right now and our lava is more than keeping up. I, we're a long way, I think, from eclipsing this lava production. And in fact, I would imagine that I'm gonna be probably using this lava power for a long time right now because I can make these guys, these, these whatever these things are, these ultra heating things pretty easily at this point. You know, I made one quickly and, and I can make these tier two ge generators quickly. So, I mean, if we start to max out our lava, we can just make more. You know, I think we're gonna be here for a little while in power. I'm really surprised that there's not a like specific power production tab, but there's not. It's really just sort of stone block basics and then storage and, you know, chickens and fluid cows and all that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, Mystical Agriculture, which again, I want to get into, but I need to watch that tutorial to really learn that mod. That's, it's, it's a deep enough mod that I kind of want to wait to get into it. But one of the things I'm definitely going to need is I'm definitely going to need some mob drops for sure. So thanks to our awesome automated hammerer guy and our automatic sever guy who's just trucking 
who's just trucking. I have diamonds and I have some, uh, a little bit of, thanks to some, uh, some good luck when mining, I have some, uh, this. I have, I have, I have some dust, right? Some of this, uh, what, draconium dust, right? Which you can smelt into, into, uh, ingots which is what you need to make some cool stuff so i think what i'm going to make right away is i'm just going to smelt these what is this induction smelter do i not have a i don't have i don't actually have like a power furnace <laughs> let's make a let's make a furnace okay furnace can i oh i have i have a couple i have basic looks like i have three from just quest rewards and stuff okay that's fine i'll just throw that right there for right now and we're just going to smelt up 16 of these i guess i could probably do all of them but i don't think there's necessarily a need so uh yeah okay so this is rolling that's cool and then once this goes here's what i'm actually gonna make i'm gonna make a grinder and i'm gonna make the ender the draconic evolution grinder so to do that i need two swords one and two very cool how many diamonds do i have just wondering i have 55 in this not to mention the 30 in my inventory that's not too bad. I'll take that for sure. That's not, that's awesome. You know, I'd like to get into this mob grind, grinding utilities because I don't, I don't know that mod at all, but I don't, I, I want to do something that I know how to use, honestly. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, we just need to do something to kind of get our feet on the ground in a way that, that is, uh, you know, I'm an outcome that I'm going to expect, right? So let's make one of these guys, a draconic core and one of these guys. Very, very cool. Okay. Now, this is going to be good. Do I have conduits? Uh, at some point, I'm going to need to upgrade these conduits, but that point is not yet. And here, I made a little spot for a... Well, I'm going to have two mob grinding rooms to start with, and this will probably be expandable to a lot more. One is just going to be random stuff. Like, random... Is this the wrong way? Because of course it is. Of course it is. Let's go get my wrench. All right, very cool. I now have this up, and it is actually hooked into power already, and I think... I think if you right, if you shift right click with this guy, it gives you these things. I'm going to guess that that is the dimensions of what this will kill. So that is super cool. Now, the other thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need some sort of collector machine uh, for, uh, and, and I'm not, I'm not totally sure what to use for that. Uh, in the past, I've used either like an ender. Oh man. What was it? Open blocks. It was like a, like, it was like a hopper of some court some sort like, i don't know what it was if i can remember what the name was and i definitely used some sort of like ethereal glass or something man i don't remember any of the names for anything but oh, really am i just gonna be that short oh here's the thing to get all of the hopper and stuff that i want and need it seems to all require ender pearls so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna walk sort of away from this a little bit and see if it will just happen to kill a few things like an enderman maybe let me maybe i should take this last one out oh boy i'm gonna get stuff to spawn over here too uh you know what let's do this for right now i wish i had something a little bit better but i don't so we'll just do this right there Okay, that is completely black, and now I can <laughs> relight this. I don't want mobs to come everywhere. I don't want, you know, to come get me. Okay, now let's go right there, and should be good, I think, unless that machine allows light, and I don't, I don't know the answer to that. All right, we're just going to sit and wait a couple of minutes. You know what we'll do? While we wait, let's head over to the tree and see if any more apples maybe grew, because, man, I need food. Man, I need food so badly. So badly do I need food in this game. Oh, at least some apples grew. All right, I need to eat something. All right, let's go bust in. I waited about, I don't know, maybe three minutes, maybe not even. So, I mean, there's nowhere else in this entire world that anything can spawn. So I'm gonna assume, okay. It seems like I got a uh, one and, and I lost a stone. Wow, what? Where could that stone possibly have gone? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck's going on here? Why is it just, just I just I lost a stone. <laughs> wow, that's just that's that's terrific. Okay, fine. So now it's a cobblestone. All right. Well, I so I got two rotten flesh. Hooray! Hooray for that. You know what though? You know what? Rotten flesh could be the answer to my needs here. I just thought of this now. If I have some wood, then I think. Let me see. Oh yeah. Can you make? Like a drying rack? Is it something like this? I, I think... I think you can do this and... Put this rotten flesh up here and it's gonna turn in jerky? Yeah, it's gonna turn in jerky! 
oh, that's cool. And I'm gonna get lots and lots of rotten flesh from my, my awesome grinder over here. Okay, let's check. I know it's only been like 30 seconds, but let's check again, because I'm anxious. I'm anxious, I wanna see. Okay, come on, give me something good. Nothing, nothing at all, okay. All right, boo. Hi everybody, my name is Fix and I'm an idiot. Uh, I can get to the end and that's where I would assume Enderman can spawn and I can just murder them right here easily. And again, I think this entire world from, from the bottom to the top is all completely solid block. So hypothetically, if I dig this tunnel a little bit and then I make the rest of it two blocks tall, I believe I should be able to murder me up some Enderman. I think, anyway, I think so. Let's see. Am I Hello, what's this? Resonant Endstone. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Am I getting something? Yeah, I'm getting that. Huh. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Oh, more. Maybe I should still touch this. Yeah, maybe I should still touch this. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Um, You know what we're going to do? We're going to fill this back in. I want all the Endermen to spawn right here where I know where they are. And then I can look right at them. Okay, that should probably be long enough, I would imagine, maybe. Let's head back over this direction and see. So what I'm gonna do is, let's see here. They, I don't want them to spawn here. So, uh, <laughs> let's do this. I, I should probably have maybe perhaps not made that three blocks wide because I want this to be here. Let me clean this up. It, you know, it's, it's really funny. I, what I need to do, what I should do here, is I should try to record, like, a bunch of these episodes all in a row. Because the, the longer I play this mod pack, the more I'm slowly starting to remember. You gotta remember my advanced age. You know, things don't come back as easily to me as maybe they used to back in the olden days. But, uh, yeah, I just ate two monster jerkies. They give you two hearts. They're not, that's not great, but it's okay. But... On the other hand, I got these things. I wanna take a look at these. There's tiny progressions, plump pear and plump peach. Can these guys do anything? Let, let me see, maybe I can't just click on them like that. Can I, uh, pear, right, right there. Does it do it? Nope. What? Come back. No. Oh, oh, oh I see, I, I, I put in RT, okay. If I right click on this, yeah, it is in recipes. Is there anything really good? That's only one. Okay, that's not a good recipe. Wow, wait a second. Why would you even want that? A, a regular pear gives you more than... That's weird. Okay. Well, you can make a pear smoothie and you can make all this different stuff, but I don't see anything that's like a lot better. Pear juice is like slightly, a tiny bit slightly better than just a regular plum pear. Yeah. So nothing really for the pear. Let me check uh, the, the peach now. Uh, let's see. Can I... No, I don't know how to do this. All right, wait, can I just, can I not? Uh -huh. Okay, peach, can I do that? Okay, it's this peach, it's this high progressions peach. So I'm gonna right click on that. Does this give you anything good to eat? I mean, there's things like this, like, yeah, that that would be better, but then you have to have all these other things and different crops, and I, I just, I don't have that stuff. So, all right, let's go now. Now I've been stalling for long enough. Can you tell I was stalling? Let, let's go back over here and check out, oh, please have some ender pearls. Nope, just some other crap. Oh, oh man, this is driving me nuts. Come on, man, just give me the thing that I need. I need, actually, I just need one ender pearl. I need one singular ender pearl. Just give me one. It's really funny. I mean, I'm getting a lot of stuff, but I cannot get an ender pearl yet. Probably just bad luck, but I've even been searching for other ways to make ender pearls, and there just isn't really a good choice. Oh, by the way, I got this in a quest reward that I forgot to show on camera, but uh, it seems pretty cool. A reusable ender pearl. Uh, not that usable underground necessarily. If this were Skyblock, that seems like a really great, great thing, but uh, yeah. So here's, <laughs> man. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what we should do about this. You know, there's all these different recipes that you can make an ender pearl with, but I don't have any of those things. You know, mystical agriculture, again. I'm fairly confident, though, that to get this, you're going to need... Yeah, you need enderman seeds. And how do you get enderman seeds? You got to make it... See, see what I'm saying? Enderman trunk. And how do you get... How do you, oh, well, that's not what I meant to do. Um, no, I meant to... Nope, ah, no, nope, ah. I meant to search this guy. How do you how do you get? So I mean this this I think I could make. 
How do you make this? Where's this Enderman chunk? Oh, so there. So you need Ender Pearls. So you need Ender Pearls in order to make the the thing. So yeah, I, I just I need Ender Pearls. I, I need at least if I get one, then I get a vacuum chest, and then I can just let this thing run like forever. But I just gotta get that first one, you know. Let's break in here again and take a look and see what we got. Any? I mean, look, I'm getting stuff. It's just bad luck thus far, you know. Maybe should I make this one taller? Just I don't think. I mean, it's three tall, you know. As far as my my tidbit of knowledge of Minecraft goes, three tall is, is enough for Enderman, I, you know. So I don't think it necessarily needs to be any more. But let's go one more just in case. Just really, really, really make sure. Yeah, let's try it again. Holy cow, I just got a reward while I'm still waiting for an ender pearl for three ender lilies. I had to show it on screen because otherwise it'd be uh, awfully suspicious if, if I just happened to get a reward for the exact thing that I really, really needed. And I happen to have end stone now, which they grow like many times faster on. And I got three of them. That is amazing. So look, worst case scenario, worst case scenario that I cannot get an ender pearl no matter what, which I, I find I don't think is very likely, then What's it? Why, why is it double hood? I double clicked or something. Then worst case scenario is it's still okay because I have now three of these guys. So I can put these, I want to put these somewhere where I'm going to like definitely see them and harvest them like the second that they're ready. So uh, awesome. Now I'm fairly confident that you cannot speed these up with a watering can or anything like that. I think you just have to wait, but still, Minimum worst case scenario. I have three ender pearls growing. Should we check one more time and see? You know, the nice thing is I don't even have to bust in if there's nothing because I can see on the mini map right here. See, this is weird. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Darn it all, man. I think while I am waiting, I am going to try to make one of these blocks, which is actually Edition's farmer block, and I think I actually have everything I need. Apparently I don't. What am I missing here? Black quartz? Maybe I need to, maybe I need to actually break this, a few of these. Let's see. I may need to, like, fortune, fortune these up, maybe? Nope. That, hello. Okay. All right. All right. I see, I see that it's combat time. Okay. Man, these modded dudes, they are sometimes harder. That, that one, not so bad. Now, where did he spawn? Uh, there's a way. Is it F7? Yeah, he spawned right here or here. Okay, cool. Uh, I did do, actually, I did do a lot of base breaking. Let me take it out and show you really quickly here. I, I broke down a lot of the, the walls and stuff in the base because I'm getting ready to kind of figure out how I want to lay things out eventually. And I thought, you know what? I have all these, like, little thin walls. I might as well just break them and then... And then I'll be able to build sort of around it. You know, I guess that probably makes the most sense. Now, I'm pretty sure that there's nothing in this because I can see in the mini map. I see nothing. I see nothing. Nope, nothing at all. At all. Okay, cool. Yeah, I remember. Now now you have to actually cook it in a furnace. Now I remember. It, it looks like it looks like something like quartz like that you wouldn't have to, but yeah, you do. So here's what I want to make. I want to make a, a farmer and I need four of these blocks, which means I need... I need iron. Is this from iron? How do you, how do you, yeah, it's atomic reconstruct iron. So I actually need four iron blocks. So let's just check this way. Yeah, I have lots of iron. So that is good. Okay, let's go one, two, three, four, and we'll just drop these on the ground. And I think, I believe this will work. Yeah, I think so. I think it worked. I, I wasn't 100% sure if it would convert, you know, if it would convert in block form or not, but this farmer, can I make it now? Yeah, I can. Cool. And I'm going to need some more conduit. So can I, I wonder if I have any more. I know that at one point I smelled up a whole, whole bunch of this, uh, this conductive iron. Yeah, it looks like I did. Okay, cool. All right, let's grab this and let's grab all these because I'm going to make a farm while I'm sitting here waiting. I might as well actually get some food. And you know what? If I have to live on rice bread for right now, then that is OK. That's all right. I can I can deal with that. But I have this little area right here. So what I'm thinking is I'm thinking that we break down here and then we go one, two, three. And then we're going to break down and go right back into where I hope huh, I hope I can connect this up. I think I know where. Oh my goodness, look at it go. Look at it go. It is rolling. Nice. Awesome. And it's going to keep everything right in there too. Look at that. It replants. It doesn't require any. The, I couldn't remember which one. I, there's two farmers, Ender.io and 
uh, the additions one. This one will replant whatever was in it originally and doesn't require an ax, so that is super cool. And yeah, uh, just like that, I now have this much rice and extra seeds and all that kind of stuff. So hooray, hooray for that. And the next thing is what we'll do is I will probably, well, mm, I really need ender pearls. Let's go check and see if maybe, <laughs> is there an ender pearl? Oh my goodness, I saw it. I saw it pop into my inventory. I think I got one. Yes, I got an ender pearl. Watch this reward be like an ender pearl or something. Oh, it's three wider lilies. That's super cool. Nice. Wow, that's good luck. And what's in this one, too? Uh, prismarine shards. Wow, that's actually really, really nice because I can use that for crafting a couple things. But here's what I can now do. Let's put a light over here. I'm going to let that thing keep on rolling because I would like to get more ender pearls so I can make more some ender chests and that kind of stuff. But here's what I can do with that. Now I can make this thing, which is a... Oh, no, a vacuum chest, and it's from Ender.io, and it's amazing. So we can make one of these guys. I need to make this, and I want to verify the recipe. So it's iron and ender pearl, okay? So I need to grab an iron, and this is what we're gonna do. Induction smelter, let's go here and here. Yes, and then once I make this, I think you can break it, and then I think I can make the vacuum chest. And what that does is that's gonna vacuum up all the items, and then what we'll do is we'll put down my one ender chest that I have, or maybe we'll do a crate. Eh, maybe we'll do a crate for right now. I kind of hate to, I have two extra ender chests that I got from a quest reward, but I kind of hate to use them to be honest. So, okay, let's see now. Here's what I need to make, a vacuum chest. And it's right here, I want this one. It also will do XP as well. I'm not that concerned with XP like at all for right now. So we'll just let that go for now. But let's do this. We'll use up one of my diamonds. That's cool. I don't mind at all. And kaboom, a vacuum chest. Awesome. Now for right now, the way we're gonna access this is from down kind of in the basement, okay? And you know, that's not totally ideal, but eventually what we'll do, cause we can't, I need another ender pearl just to get a, con uh, a conduit. <laughs> oh look, all this stuff. Now see, now stuff's rolling. Now stuff is rolling really well. So let's go right about here and we'll go one, two, three, right there. Okay. And then we'll put that right there. Boom, vacuum chest, I'll take that. And then I'm just gonna have to come and occasionally, occasionally open this, right? I'm just gonna have to come down here occasionally and just open it because that is what I'm gonna, you know, you know, that's what I'm gonna have to do for now. But hey, you know what? I think that probably is gonna wrap up today's episode. So hey, super successful. We got a vacuum chest, we got an ender pearl. That's amazing. And now we have a very small, but doable mob grinder. Hooray, hooray for stone block. I'll see you next episode from stone block two. Leave a like if you don't mind and let me know what I should do next in the comments down below. Thanks everybody, bye.